can become immense source of support to other fellow female entrepreneurs through women networking groups, irrespective of the nature of platform. These groups are a great way to meet like-minded women who love to connect with women who, is have, who are having similar ideas, interests, or agendas. Having said that, despite being so much in high demand, making such group, making such work, such network is never a cakewalk. Joining me to share her perspective from Pune, India, Seema Tanwar, who has built a wonderful women-oriented community and runs her own women network in Pune Kharadi, Women's Club Kharadi. She is also associated with the education as she is managing director of Canvas Education International Private Limited. Simal, welcome you on our show and thank you so much for joining us. Oh, thank you so much, uh, Rajni, for the wonderful introduction. And I must say and congratulate you that you're doing such a phenomenal job, the Wow Women channel. It's uh, really connecting a lot of ladies and uh, so many discussion forums uh, on this channel. Uh, really, and thank you uh, to you for inviting me for the, on this forum. Thank you. I feel extremely motivated, Seema, and thank you so much for having a lot of appreciation towards our channel and towards our work in liking it and watching it. We expect a continuous support from you. Absolutely. So, always. From all our ladies. Thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. So, Seema, I was looking at your profile and your profile looked very, very intriguing to me. And you know why? You have been someone who started her journey from being an academician. You have been very much gravitated towards academics, especially your attention towards kids, toddler. And then you move towards a career of making or, you know, your interest diverted towards making a women networking communities. So we would definitely love to know more about your entrepreneurial journey and what were those factors which led such decisions or such likings, actions. Okay. Well, yes, uh, Rajni, you're right. I am basically an educator and academician uh, from the core. And, uh, but yet my career didn't start here. It started uh, uh, longer back uh, with, uh, you know, me being working in accounts and finance with various corporates uh, from where I moved into corporate education and training. And I basically did a lot of research work in bridging the gap between universities and corporates, you know, handling market research uh, for not only Indian firms, but some of, uh, uh, you know, the firms in Malaysia and in Philippines as well. Um, and from there, I completely moved into education sector about uh, a decade back. Yes, I own a preschool chain with the name of uh, Canvas Kids Preschool. And I opened the first branch in Karari about uh, nine years back. And now we have 10 branches in Pune. I am a strong believer that teaching the right values to children at the right time. So uh, when they start differentiating between what is right and what is wrong, Teaching the values at that time is very crucial. So our preschools uh, also have something called as the outreach program, which focuses on value-based concepts, uh, field trips, um, donation drives that involves the preschoolers as well as their parents. So yes, that is what my entrepreneurial journey, entrepreneurial journey has been. So yes. Well, Rajni, women are a very strongly uh, networked and a very strong uh, group of people. So uh, during my uh, uh, you know, tenure as an educator, and I still am, I connect with a lot of mothers. And uh, during this connection around uh, Pune, I mostly discovered two things. First of all, uh, my own passion and uh, the drive to reach out to the lesser privileged with children and with ladies especially with children, to teach them how to uh, help the needy. And secondly, during my interaction with mothers, uh, I realized that uh, there were many ladies, uh, mothers, teachers, trainers, uh, with various potential, a lot of potential and immense knowledge. They were all looking for a break. They were looking for a platform to connect uh, with each other and to grow. 
Now uh, that's when I went ahead and involved a lot of ladies to make a strong network in Karadi who um, can not only support each other but they will also support the community around through various social initiatives and uh, through many other um, you know networking drives. So of course I did not do this alone. There is a highly motivated team, my uh, committee members and working committee members uh, and now even a cultural committee. Uh, you know, with a lot of ladies who are like-minded and uh, who want to make a difference. So I'm proud. Right. Wonderful. So Seema, uh, when you initiated your idea and very few women joined and after that uh, the number increased and I, mm-hmm. I totally believe and I have seen that after a certain time it becomes very, very crucial to keep your group intact from falling apart. You know, there could mm-hmm. be various reasons. Uh, as there are typical key challenges that one faces uh, in a large group such as conflict Mm -hmm. of interest or there could be insecurities or issues related to trust. So how did you keep things going? How did you keep your group so much intact? Rajni, uh, being from a corporate background and especially from project management and having handled uh, larger teams, Um, I have a few uh, core management mantras. I think first of all, it is important to create teams and teams where leadership is distributed and it is not really hierarchical. So um, we cannot uh, be the own sole leader in these kind of communities. We need to create more leaders, more winners, more successful ladies and that's what Women's Club Kharari believes in and gives a platform to um, every other lady who joins in and puts in their efforts. So that is my first mantra. Um, Also, uh, Rajni, uh, every member who joins us, they will all have a reason to join. They'll all have a core need. Now, some would want to be socially active. Some would want uh, to be recognized. Some will want to do business with us. Uh, Some will be looking um, for a place where they can make more friends and some might be just looking for an opportunity to contribute something and reach out to the um, underprivileged. So as an umbrella, uh, we make sure that we uh, satisfy all these needs. So uh, when they join our community, uh, somewhere or the else, they are all able to contribute through our events and our interaction. And that's how people... Uh, okay, Seema, uh, I would definitely love to understand uh, your support during these tough COVID times because uh, I came to know through someone that uh, Kharadi Women uh, Club Group has been very, very active on this front. So I, I totally understand that uh, generally people don't like to talk about noble task or noble deeds because these are generally done with some other intentions not for marketing but still I would love to understand that how your community contributed towards uh, during these tough times. Well Rajni I think the last uh, seven eight months have been extremely crucial for all of us it's been a total game changer for many of us and this is where uh, truly people around you needed you the most whether it was uh, for a break for social interaction, whether it was for food materials, clothes, medicines, health checkup camps, uh, they have needed us and we have done it all. So uh, we have also, yes, we understand Rajni that social drives are not done for a marketing purpose. But trust me, every time we have published our work, there have been ladies constantly supporting and joining hands with us. They've got motivated and they have themselves step step forward that we also want to join you had we not published our work they wouldn't have even known that we are doing all of this so i think in the last uh, few months we have completed more than 12 medicine distribution drives four russian distribution drives in various uh, labor camps and bastis uh, medicine dis- distributions also we have done everywhere in bastis uh, and in some societies we have done 19th health checkup camps f- uh, with our wck uh, panel doctors Uh, where we got a support from BJS, uh, Dispensary Van Service. And um, we have an initiative called as the Gift a Smile Initiative, 
under which we donated food, clothes, uh, birthday cakes to various organizations, to various people. Under this, we also donated. Uh, right. Wonderful. Wonderful. And Seema, finally, what would be your message to all women viewers who are planning to make a community? Okay. Well, Rajni, making another uh, community, uh, it, it is, it, it does require some effort and some planning. But I would really tell uh, ladies to wait for some time because a lot of communities and similar communities uh, have been just mushrooming and sprouting up uh, like anything in the last few months. Um, you know, if somebody is really planning to start a community, let it be really unique. Let it be for uh, a specific purpose or to serve a cause. There is no point in repeating similar activities with similar group of people as, uh, you know, ladies are getting confused and existing groups are getting diluted. So my message to ladies would only be to create something unique, uh, engage and uplift the community, um, create your own space and definitely create your own identity. Thanks, Rajni. Yeah, I think this is quite imperative. And on this note, we would definitely love to thank you for sharing your perspective and being with us. And we wish you all the best for your all future and diversion projects, whichever you take up. Thank you so much once again for being with Thank us. Thank you so much, Rajani. It was wonderful uh, being on this platform. Thank you. We truly appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching.